America Home presents the News Hour at 10 with Arnab Goswami. America and India have teamed up against Pakistan. And on the debate tonight is Rana Afzal Khan, Federal Parliamentary Secretary for Finance, Economic Affairs, Revenue and member of the National Assembly of the PMLN, Ambassador Ali Sarwar Nakwi, former diplomat, executive director of CISS, Barrister Zahid Saeed, former diplomat, group captain Sultan Hali, defense analyst from Islamabad, from Washington, Ahmar Musti Khan, who is a journalist and defender of the human rights of the people of Baloch. Can we have them on the screen? RSN Singh, former RAW officer and military intelligence expert, Sushant Sareen, senior fellow of the Vivekananda International Foundation, and Maruf Raza, complete our panel tonight. America and India team up against Pakistan. That's a headline from one of Pakistan's biggest media houses. And it tells you the story that is unfolding across the border. Ladies and gentlemen, as Syed Salahuddin goes around screaming about nuclear wars, he's doing exactly what India has been saying all along. If anything, New Delhi has now forced Washington to take note as Islamabad prepares to completely isolate Pakistan. Debating in two minutes on the news hour. Nawaz Sharif's duplicity on terror was never in doubt. The yeah. fact that Arnab, Hafiz Muhammad Saeed Arnab, and, like to and is allowed to come so close to the Vaga border, it points to yet another reinforcement of the fact that he's a state guest in Pakistan. But now, even by Pakistan's dubious standards, it's hit a new low. Saeed Salahuddin has now called for a nuclear war against India. The Hezbollah Mujahideen chief even predicting a fourth war over Kashmir. Salahuddin literally talking as if he dictates Pakistan's foreign policy. ऐसे तथ्यों का जो भी बयान बाजी आता है उसको ज़्यादा तूल नहीं देना चाहिए और ये लोग तो पब्लिसिटी के लिए ये सब बोलते हैं तो जो पब्लिसिटी के लिए बोलते हैं उसको सरकार की तरफ से भी प्रतिक्रिया नहीं करने से ज़्यादा अच्छा है नहीं तो खामा का वो यही चाहते हैं while Delhi has chosen to laugh off Salahuddin's rant, Washington has questioned Islamabad. The latest anti-India rant by terrorist Sayyid Salahuddin comes days after he organized protest against Indian Home Minister Rajnath Singh's visit for the Sark meet in Islamabad. In fact, the free run given by the Nawaz Sharif government to Sayyid Salahuddin only proves what the United States calls selective approach on terror. Obama's government calling Pakistan's bluff, cutting off $300 million in military aid for its selective approach on terror. We obviously uh, believe that Pakistan needs to do all it can to confront all terrorists operating on its soil. Uh, we've seen it make progress and we want to see more progress on its part. From lauding a slain terrorist to an anti-India march at Wagah, to protests against India's Home Minister, to a call for a nuclear war, Salahuddin has exposed Pakistan's terror policy. Internationally designated terrorists like Sayyid Salahuddin has now taken to issuing nuclear threats. Since when has he become the Prime Minister of Pakistan? The onus now is on Nawaz Sharif to rein in terrorists like Salahuddin or be ready to pay for terror. Bureau Report, Times Now. Tonight, on India's most watched news show, debate number two, America's hint at Salahuddin Parade. You're watching the News Hour at 10, debate number two on Times Now, Super Prime Time. Okay, so we've lost the satellite link to Islamabad completely. We should be getting it any time now, so we'll keep trying to do that. Uh, I'd like to start with, uh, with, with you, Maruf. You know, we saw out there uh, today's statement of Sayyid Salahuddin, where he said, 
that Pakistan is duty bound, moral bound, etc., to uh, provide concrete, substantial support to the ongoing freedom struggle on the territory of Kashmir. And if Pakistan provides this support, there is a great chance of a nuclear war between the two powers. So on a day when 70 people were killed by terrorists in a Quetta hospital, when the Pakistan Taliban took responsibility for the killing of 70 people, and when the whole world was shocked, Syed Salauddin was openly calling for a nuclear war between India and Pakistan. Can this kind of statement be taken lightly, saying that it's come from a non-state actor when we know fully well that Syed Salauddin represents very much the military establishment's mind in, in Pakistan? Maruf. Uh, Orna, firstly, I wish uh, the link with Pakistan and Islamabad is restored so our uh, Pakistani guests can hear some of the new points that I wish to raise. The, the, you, the line the is up. Thank is you, Maruf. The line is up. They can hear you. Yeah. Uh, business should not... Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, the non-state actor argument I've never bought because uh, if they were non-state actors, the Pakistani military by now would have... Uh, confronted them as they are confronting the so-called non-state actors on their uh, borders with Afghanistan. Afghanistan. But I think I, before I get into finger pointing at Pakistan, I want to raise three or four issues. The first is that America has by and large been uh, sort of not strong enough in its statements when it comes out to actually giving Pakistan the red lines that they should not cross. America has generally given a sort of semi-neutral statement and saying that Pakistan and India should resolve these issues amongst themselves. So I'll give you two examples. Whenever there is a terror attack on India, America says it cautions India to show restraint. It doesn't tell Pakistan that since the terror attacks have come from your soil, you either act against them or we will globally act against you. The second point is that whenever Pakistani leaders or their proxies use the nuclear threat as Salauddin has most recently done, America should now come forward and put its uh, money where its mouth is and say that whoever initiates a nuclear conflict, America as the global patron of nuclear security worldwide, which is an initiative even the Obama administration has taken on upon itself, will then have to join up against the other country which has been subjected to a nuclear attack by an immense American attack which will make the punishment unbearable for the country concerned. Now, unless there is a very clear definitive state from America, Pakistan will continue to nuclear saber rattling and we will continue to, you know, oscillate between talks and no talks. I thought... The third and final point I wish to raise that every time Pakistan... Open up, the final, please allow me, that every time Pakistan raises the Kashmir issue, Emma should come how many time in his memory that America has come out definitively and defined the line on Kashmir was Clinton when Nawaz Sharif went to him on 4th of July 1999. This is in the secret presidential diaries, the Clinton years by Clinton's good friend, Mr. Branch, page 560, those who wish to read it. He said very clearly that as far as we are concerned, the Kashmir issue is settled and Kashmir is with India. Now you find a peaceful solution within the existing physical realities that exist. Now unless American establishment comes forward very strongly with this, we will hear the same rant from Pakistan. A. Kashmir is a freedom struggle. B. Maruf, we are victims of terrorism. Maruf, Maruf, C. I mean India Maruf. is perpetuating terror in Pakistan, yeah, Maruf, like Baluchistan. Maruf, if now, I may. That is all hogwash. If, if I the may. reality is, Pakistan's had been selective in yeah. dealing with terrorism. Yeah. And unless Pakistan Maruf. has a comprehensive approach, we cannot move. How is it that after the attack on Karachi in June 2014, they decided to launch, launch Zarbe Azab against those people who attacked yeah, their Maruf, citizens. Yeah, let's go point and by point. Let's, let's go point by point. Maruf, Maruf, Taliban let's go point. Let's go point by point. How let's is get, it that they want to talk to them? Let's go to the first point today. How is it they want to talk to them? No, Maruf, Maruf, let's go after the first point. Let's go after the first point. One second, Maruf. Every time they launch a terror attack, let's go after the first point. The first point is this. And Rana Afzal Khan, you know, America has made such a straightforward comment 
it has said that Pakistan is not a serious, you know, uh, player when it comes to taking on terrorism. They are only going after selective groups. They have, in other words, accused you of fraud. The United States of America, in a formal statement of the deputy spokesman of the State Department, has accused you of fraud. Three days back, they refused to give you money. Today, they are accusing you of fraud. Now, obviously, you can't say anymore, Rana Afzal Khan, that you don't care what the US says. Because for you, the US is at the heart of everything that you do. Now, they are not giving you money. They are accusing you of fraud. They are not backing you on Kashmir. So you are left high and dry. Rana Afzal Khan, why do you think the United States has slammed you in this way? Well, uh, uh, United States has its own opinion. We are not driven or guided by the American opinion. That's Just wrong. Just like you are creating, you are taking a st non-state actor and trying to create a hype in India as if Pakistan is going nuclear uh, about India. You are creating creating a phobia in India. So also somebody in America, if he if they say Pakistan is doing selectively, we why should we do selectively? No, but you do we care, no, Mr. Khan. Uh, um, Mr. Khan. Mr. Khan. We have fact, to cleanse Khan, our country of Mr. all Khan, this evil. Mr. Khan, you know, uh, you you cannot say your flawed foreign policy puts Kashmir. Not, simple question. At the one second, question. Maru. Maru, one minute. Your flawed foreign policy, you're a very Don't senior man, Mr. Khan. Mouth. Mr. Khan, one minute. Mr. Khan, your flawed foreign policy puts Kashmir at the center of everything. And that includes your relationship with the United States, where you have begged the United States to intervene on the Kashmir issue time and time again only to be rebuffed. So you cannot say on news are today that you don't care about the Americans slamming you. America is everything we for you. We do not care for what... America is Let everything for you. Let me answer your question. We, it, uh, America is not everything for Pakistan us. Pakistan cannot exist without America. For you. Because Pakistan has a policy. You cannot go on murdering the Kashmiris and no, then no, no. you buy talk shows, you try to cover it no, up. No, Mr. You Khan. Can, you can spill the blood of Kashmiris. Mr. Khan. You can continue to do it and Mi you want Mi Pakistan Mr. Khan. to remain silent about Mi it. Mr. Khan, can I, can I, before, cannot stay silent before I, before I, before I open up on that part of the debate, because I think RSN Singh and Sushant Sarin would love to take you on on that. I really want to uh, push this point that today Pakistan exists because of America. Between 1951 and 2011, no. you got, you got, no. you got, I factually, I see, I present facts. Mr. Khan, you are coming on the program for the first time. I'd like to tell you one thing. I only present facts. Between 1951 and 2011. It's your facts. Yeah. Okay, whoever's facts, you counter my facts with your facts. Let me state my facts to you. Let me have the pleasure of stating my facts. Sir, between 1951 and 2011. These are facts, these are allegations. Yeah, so are Mr. Are allegations. Mr. Mr. Barrister Zaid Saeed, are you feeling that Rana Afzal Khan cannot speak for himself? Let me, let me make my no, point no. to him. Between 1951 and 2011, you survived on $67 billion of American money. You went with a begging bowl to the US. They lent you. In 2015 itself, 357 million for infrastructure development, 99 million for education, 106 million dollars for governance, 88 million for humanitarian assistance, and 123 million for health. You take that money away and, and you're bankrupt with a capital B. How can you say you don't care for the Americans? They own you. We do not have such kind. Okay, they own you. Finish. Let him speak. What? Have you finished? Yeah, they own you. Look, they don't own us. We don't even have that kind of liabilities anywhere. We were growing faster than India. <laughs> till India started to destabilize Pakistan by on, sending sir. people like Gulbashan Yadev. You <laughs> people have Gulbushan tried to Yadav. strangulate Pakistan. We, our growth rate was much faster than India's. And it is going to be much faster than India. Yeah, yeah. Rest assured, we are, we are a solid nation which can survive on its own productivity, on its own hard work, on its own 
پرفارمنس That is as big as yes. the entire economy of Slovenia. You are indebted with a capital I and bankrupt with a capital B. I can't make it simpler than that, Sushant yeah, Sarin. How can you say you don't care for what the Americans yeah. are telling you? Sushant Sarin is on the debate. Arnab, He's opening up. Sushant Ar- Arnab, Sarin. Yeah. Ar- Ar- Arnab, yeah. Yeah. I think your figures, your figures are slightly off the mark. The uh, foreign indebtedness is around 65 billion dollars uh, they hide a couple of billion but no, it's, it's over not. 60 billion dollars in any case by whichever estimate you see okay it's not, it's not because you are a very hip and happening no no country. i'm no no once 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 i correct myself i correct myself no no i correct myself sushant 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 i was quoting from sources which were talking about the amount of debt which will mature in 2016 which means isi saal mein inko 50 billion dollars yeah. dene hai which is the size of the slovenian economy their actual no, debt is no, much I, bigger no, i agree I, I, no i don't think they have to so what are the loans they, on india they, i don't think they have to pay 50 billion but they have to fare a fairly uh, anyway, substantial amount yeah, yeah, because all the all. loan write offs and all the moratoriums yeah. which were uh, which had come their way post 9/11 uh, it's now time to pay back yeah. uh, and it'll be time to pay back a lot of other loans which they have contracted over the last few years so yes the economy why are you so worried about the pay, it's but it's still business. very tenuous come on it's gentlemen it's like you to hold up uh, uh, come one external shock you are just sir, jealous, jealous of the why you get hysterical don't get hysterical don't get hysterical don't get hysterical just listen if you have other facts See, you can counter it us? where why? is the problem but i i am i am quoting from your state bank of pakistan reports your economic survey your budget documents obviously you people don't read it and that's why you pass your budget so easily but i read your budget documents very very carefully <laughs> so i know what i'm talking about and i read your state bank of pakistan reports if you're telling us also. this to do so, better we will do better economy. don't worry i think i i think the bigger problem Yeah, yeah of course you will do better you will really be hip and happening you will be the biggest economy in the world i'm sure that will happen and i'm sure you will export Inshallah, the jihadis God which is your uh, most uh, lucrative export uh, yes of course you export the jihadis all over the place that is your We best no export Russian, that is what you are famous for anyways of course of course of course you don't have kulbushan yadav of course uh, none of the others who have come out here uh, have come from your side they've just dropped in from mars or some other place but that's besides the point every country around the region is troubled by you including the chinese who have their own complaints of uh, etim and other uighur terrorists uh, having bases in pakistan and they keep leaning upon you the oh americans know it but anna <laughs> the problem with the formulation which came from the americans this time there is a fatal flaw i think what the Americans try and do is that they think they can keep pushing the envelope with the Pakistanis in the hope that the Pakistanis will start uh, you brief, know uh, delivering something what the Pakistanis the Pakistanis have gamed it and what the Pakistanis do is they throw a couple of baits at the Americans the Americans no, think no, no. progress is being made and they back off no, i think this game has gone on for over 15 years now no, but it's changing. and the Americans have been really bluffed and you're right you're right they've been bluffed and what you have managed to do is <laughs> that you have uh, the you, you have you played americans. the americans up unless Shame. the sledge hammer is used the pakistanis are not going to see sledge them okay. and things like what has happened in quetta today for them this is a collateral damage because it's their guys who carry out this these kind of attack okay 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 okay, okay, okay. rana abzal khan and bradis kazai uh, attacks in Duke afghanistan captain sultan ali and ambassador ali in sarwar naqvi are, are coming into the debate this kind of attack i'm glad and you never see any action against no, no, them no i i'm glad you see okay so here's here's an argument bradis kazai say it Let seems you want to have a go yeah 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 thank you yeah let me yeah look let us come to the first point the first point made by you is that we want that some private individual says there will be nuclear war between india and pakistan if we continue our support of the kashmiris this is your first point now any fool would realize anyone would realize 
that if India and Pakistan go into confrontation, there is a serious threat of, uh, of escalating <coughs> to nuclear weapons. And this is a basic truth. So we have to avoid that. And we have to go and have peaceful negotiations. So why don't you, you catch? We have always stood for peaceful negotiations. Adnan, it's not it a private individual India. alone who talks no, as who is the private? No, watch, watch. Who is a private it's individual? It's not a private, a private individual individual alone. There no, are people in the Salaam parliament who make these individual. kind of statements. There are retired army officers who make these kind of statements. Don't there are Sarkari Sindhi foreign service officers who make these kind of statements. They make these kind of statements. This is part of the culture. No less than a former. Chair, uh, Chief of General Sahib Staff, Sahib Sahib General Shahid Aziz wrote an article in oh, the Nation saying that finish. we should fire a nuclear Let missile over finish. the Indian landmarks to teach the Indians a lesson. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, this is a man who was uh, Barrister. Musharraf uh, Lieutenant. Barrister, yes. Barrister, one minute. No, one second, one second. Sushant, 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 Sushant. So when he talks like that, what are we supposed to do? Sushant, Sushant, one second. Barrister, Barrister, one second. Barrister uses the phrase, Barrister uses the phrase private individual. Are, stop, stop, are, are, are. अरे भाई आ, आ, बैरिस्टर जी जरा जरा दो मिनट शांत हो जाइए मेरी बात सुनिए ये जो आपने वो शब्द यूज किया ये जो आपने लफ्ज यूज किए ये प्राइवेट इंडिविजुअल इसको जरा मैं काउंटर करना चाहता हूं ये प्राइवेट इंडिविजुअल बाद में करो अरे बाद में कैसे अभी करना चाहता कर लू ना सुन तो लीजिए नहीं अभी मैं आप इतने उत्तेजित मत हो जाइए क्रोधित मत हो जाइए काम डाउन Barrister, Barrister, one second. Barrister, they care. Barrister, Barrister, one, Barrister. Barrister, one, one. Barrister. The Americans think that we are selective, selective in pouncing down on militants. Yeah. Right. That's the point. So made. does so well, does President Ghani feel? So does the whole world feel? Don't speak. President let me Ghani talk. has said in, a, in a, as many words. That na national action plan and military courts for one set of terrorists and and flaws and book book This is not book, rubbish. First book you is, let me talk, then you talk. I mean, one I, second, I barrister. Why, yeah, no. what, what has happened, barrister? Azul, what I'm barrister, saying? you're talking a whole lot of rubbish, and you keep saying, "Let me talk." One second, Maru, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You're talking absolute hogwash. Calm down, gentlemen on both sides. Barrister, you must uh, uh, give this, equal this time to us, barrister. Hafiz Saeed, Hafiz Saeed has a price on his head. One second, gentlemen calm down, gentlemen calm down, calm down one minute, calm down. Barrister, barrister calm down. Calm down, calm down. No, no, RSN, RSN wait here, RSN wait, RSN wait a while, wait a while. And, and, and barrister, barrister Zaid Saeed, you are in a bad way, you are in a bad way. The point is, you think that we are selective in coming down on militants. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. And the Americans yeah, have said so. Ghani but let me so. tell you something. And okay. that is how the Americans, you know, the Americans Mula, Mula, can Mula, Mula, Ambassador, did the, did, did Ambassador, the Mula, Mula, all your, uh, who, all your sensible writers in Pakistan you cannot say the same. And kill people under the flag. Uh, facts, facts. See, I have a more, I have, have the most the recent, or not, I and have a recent copy of both by Khalid Ahmed. And who is the most ah. respected journalist in Pakistan? And if you choose a path he of says thank that you, Pakistan thank you, thank you. is selective in dealing you. with terrorism. Have you heard of Khalid Ahmed? Ahmed? Ambassador, Ahmed. have you heard of Khalid Ahmed? Yes. Go and get hold of his coffee. Surrender, sliding okay. to surrender. Slide okay. to Maruf. surrender. Maruf. And he says so, very Maruf. clearly Maruf. how you are selective Maruf, in dealing Maruf, with Maruf, terrorism. Maruf, 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 one Maruf, Maruf, minute. Maruf, Maruf, one minute. Let's not go. Go to award Maruf, one minute. Maruf, one minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. Given him an award in 2013. One minute. Argument being made is. And he is saying that. I am not saying it. Okay, Maruf, Maruf, an argument being taken today is. And I think it's horrible that you have a madman called Syed Salaudi, who is also a terrorist to boot, by the way. Group Captain Sultan Hali and Ambassador Nakwi, welcome to the debate. This person being called a private citizen, I don't think he runs a hotel. I don't think he runs a sports club. I don't think, I don't think the Hezbollah Mujahideen is an NGO or a bank. It's a terrorist organization with deep links to the ISI. So you cannot call him a private citizen. I'm simply asking you today, and Group Captain Sultan Hali and Ambassador... Come. So there are two other panelists in Islam. I haven't... Can I, can I get them? I haven't in? been allowed to speak today. No, no, no. Please feel free to feel free to come in. Mm. Uh, my, my point. No, no. Arnab, 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 Arnab. RSN, RSN, one minute. RSN, one oh. second. The argument. I, I want to. I want to understand how the other two pa panelists look upon uh, Syed Salaudin saying that there should be nuclear war yeah. between India and Pakistan. 
If you, Group Captain Sultan Ali and Barrister Zaid. No, Ambassador Nakwi. Yes, Ambassador Nakwi. They would be confused. Ambassador yes, Nakwi. I am, I am saying that yeah. Sayyid Salahuddin or any character like that can be compared to your Shiv Sina people. I mean, they are extremists. They are on the margin of society. They don't. The Shiv Sina is a political party that participates in elections in India and is and, and runs a state weapons, in India. I mean, come on, totally please. Let's not even draw a comparison here. Of Pakistan. Let's not even. The Shiv Sena is a legitimate Imagine political Sahab. party that operates operates within the Election Commission of India guidelines. Uh, participates in elections. So let's well, not. Let's not. Be doing that, let's but not. It let's not, let's not. Let's not cross the line. Let's not cross the Arisen, Arisen, Ambassador Arisen, 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 Nawaz Sharif That's was. Wrong. Uh, Pakistan uh, attended the nuclear security summit, sir, but not at sir, the prime please, minister please. level. At the level yes, of. Yes, I am talking about. Uh, I am uh, talking about the prime system. minister's level. You, you, you did not that attend is because not you, you in were. You, no, no, it's very you relevant. Please, please, diplomacy. please, please, please have the patience. It's very relevant. You did not attend well, that because the role, the role of, of non-state actors, summit. as far as uh, safety of your nuclear weapons was uh, uh, concerned, was going to be discussed in that meet. So you did not attend this. The worst fears of the world are coming true why about the security, you, security and safety of why, nuclear why weapons of Pakistan me speak. and you, you at the speaking. hands of the jihadi what group. Wrong? And what? You have been what? Sayyid Salahuddin? Arisen, what? Sayyid Salahuddin? Arisen, one minute. Arisen, 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 he has vindicated. Arisen, he has vindicated the Arisen, world. Arisen, 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 the point you're making is, Ambassador, listen to me. Ambassador, listen to me. You were there on the yes. 20th of May. Yes. You, no, one second. One second. Just, just, first, just calm, calm down. On the 20th yes. of May, you were there. Why don't you let this gentleman stop? Okay, so I'm asking you something, right? Are you were there on the 20th yeah. of May. You yes. were there, sir, one minute. You were there on the 20th of May when Pakistan was applying to join the NSG? Yes. Okay. Second question. I was not in the N I was not in the NSG meeting. Yeah, but you were part India. of the group lobbying. Okay. So, what is it true that you were telling the whole world we are a responsible country which can meet the uh, NSG's uh, proliferation reducing uh, standards? You said that. Yes. Yes. So listen to me. All, all I tell you. And under the uh, allow me third question. I always ask three questions me. in a row. We were rated higher sir, than India. Sir, I want to. I want to, to simply know from you. I want to know from you. you are so I want to know from you. Why? So One second, Arisen. Arisen, a minute. I want to know from you. The whole world finds you untrustworthy. America stops giving you hundreds of millions That's of dollars true. because you don't That's act against true. the Haqqani network. They don't give you no, F-16. You, you are wrong. You are totally. They don't give totally you. Prejudice they don't Pakistan. give you 16 used second-hand F-16s. They don't that let you matter. into the NSG. We can get our own F-16s. Where well, you'll make them? Is it in Rawalpindi? And, and uh, nobody, nobody, nobody. Uh, neither India nor Pakistan has. No, no, but Group Captain Enter Sultan Ali. Group Captain Sultan Ali will be more reasonably sitting there next to you. You see, with with a great deal of respect, you are moving headlong in the direction of being a global pariah as a nation. Nobody wants to deal with you. Nobody trusts you. Nobody wants to give you money. Nobody takes you seriously. So why worry for us? Pardon me. What? Why you? Who are you to worry? No, you should be worried. Yeah, yeah, no, we are, we are worried we, because, we, we because, know how to run our foreign because, policy. No, our only, is, our, our only concern is in our country from our only concern is our only concern. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, Gupta Sultan Ali. If Pakistan is doomed, if it, if there's balkanization of Pakistan, it breaks up, or by the grace of God, you know, uh, Pakistan occupied Kashmir reunites with India is brought back. <laughs> if if it Baluchistan is declared free, let me tell you, it will be good for your country and you oh, will yeah. understand. But my only concern is that aren't you worried the whole world is now calling you names. America says you are targeting terrorists selectively. It's no longer one or two. Group Captain Sultan Ali, 
What do you want to be eventually? As a country? Okay, uh, I, I, uh, Arnab. Yes. Arnab, I've listened far too long to a lot of arguments. Some of them uh, were uh, tangent to the topic which we are discussing. But I have a counter question. Yeah. For the last two weeks, I have been watching your program. Right. And sp specifically your program. I mean, I must commend you. You run a tight ship. But the fact remains that for the last two weeks, you were discussing Balochistan. Yeah. And while Kashmir is burning and you were absolutely silent about it. No, but I've discussed Kashmir as well and I have, I have discussed please, Kashmir please, as well for your... Thank no, you. no, no, one sec, one sec, one sec. I need to correct you between please you and me. One me second. I need, to, I need to make my point to you okay. and you can continue okay. after okay, that. Correct me. Sir, understand one thing. Okay. And, and okay. Just understand one thing. As far as Baluchistan is concerned, I am willing to debate that issue and Ahmar Mustaq Khan, defender of the human rights of the people of Balochistan, okay. independent journalist from Washington, can debate that for you, with you, thank for the you. next 10 hours. One, point number one. Point number two, as yeah, far as Kashmir you. is concerned, you have this rogue character called Hafiz Sai, the terrorist who you have patronized, he is openly going and saying that I organized the entire thing in Kashmir. I was giving money, I was organizing people, I was sending lashkar toiba people across the border. And I have been discussing Kashmir ad nauseum, talking about how Said Salauddin and Hafiz Saeed have exposed the role of Pakistan and Pakistanis in organizing and fomenting the problem in Kashmir. In fact, you are completely mistaken. I have debated that ad nauseum. Having answered that question, I want to ask you here today about why you are being called a country that is not firm on the issue of terrorism. And I'm asking you because in 2007, Parvez Musharraf ordered an operation on the Lal Masjid in Pakistan to flush out radicals, right? Where is the commitment in clamping down on Hafiz Saeed? You claim to have lost $118 billion due to participation in the war on terror. Where is the clamp down on Maulana Masood Asar of the jaish e Muhammad? You went and launched the Rahe Nijat operation to wipe out the Taliban. Where is your approach, similar approach towards Hafiz Saeed who carried out 2611? So you don't ask me the questions because I'll ask you five questions back. May I, may now I, answer may my I, question. May I please say something? Amar Mustikar wants to come in. One yeah, second. Amar Mustikar is challenging you from Washington. Yeah. Yes, Amar. Go on. Amar is making a point to say yes. Sultan Ali. Go on. Uh, yeah. Thank yes, you. Uh, Namaskar. I, I want is, to say, I, I, I want to like, to, I like to say what Sa Sayyid Salauddin has said is extremely dangerous for the world. It cannot be dismissed lightly. I am hearing from the panelists from Pakistan that this person is a private individual. It is totally wrong. Everyone knows Sayyid Salauddin, Hafiz Saeed are the blue-eyed boys of the Pakistan Army and ISI. Yeah. The problem here is the Islamo fascism. Okay, okay, okay. Are the guests? Resides, no, no, one sec. Rana, Rana Afzal, continue. Rana places. Afzal in the middle, please. Rana Afzal, yeah. Rana Afzal, what's your, what's your point? Rana Afzal, what's your point to MR? I want to make very politely one point that I, after listening to this program, I want to tell you that we happily live in Pakistan and we are just not concerned what is happening in India. Yeah, thank we you very no much. We have no India phobia. No, thank you very uh, why much. Why are you living in Pakistan phobia? No, no, we are not. This is a, you are, no, 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 I, I think I, you are making your RSN. people no, no, you, a phobia not saying of the Pakistan. Even, it is not sir, even to as, good to you. What, what, sir, 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 yeah. even as you have been, can I please, sir, even as you have been orchestrating this fresh round of terror and violence in in Kashmir, look look at the blowback in Baluchistan, and I'm ashamed that you should be speaking in like Kashmir, this. In Kashmir, you are killing Bro, people. The, the, the blowback, in the Kashmir, blowback in Baluchistan has hit a new low. You are, you are, sir, in Kashmir, sir, please they think, have no weapons. please think. Schools, they have no now weapons. hospitals. Look at the sleazy they fighting, manner. They are fighting 700,000 The bomb, bombing has been carried out in the Baluchistan hospital. And still, you, you are not ashamed about the blowback? You, watch it. you are not concerned about your own country, sir? What second? I'm ashamed and you, you said that you are a very peaceful and peace-loving people in a state of happiness. Response and what are you talking, sir? 70 people have died today. 
Hmm? You, you, what yes, you have done to Afghanistan and India, you, you are not at all no, no, ashamed no, no, of the Sultan Ali. Sultan Ali, Sultan Ali, 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 when Asif Zardari, the president of Pakistan, he said he rejected the idea of the first nuclear strike. And what happened within three days? Within three days, we saw you guys sending people to Mumbai to saw death and destruction. So many hundreds of lives were affected. What are you guys up to? Why, why are you believing in this nonsense of Ghazwai Hind? Do you have any, any decency? <laughs> are, are you following the Pendu policy? Is this a Pendu policy? Amar Mosti Khan. Amar Mosti Khan. Don't call what, names. What, don't what call names. Of, and you as a Balochi kind of, should have been of, ashamed of what happened what, in what Balochistan kind, today. What, what in the capital of, of Balochistan in Quetta. Kind of, when 70 what, people what, lost what their lives. You should be of, asking this what question kind, what from kind, India. What kind of foreign, what kind of foreign policy? Sir, you should be talking about sir, I, be, I beg you. I'm not talking about I, 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 I beg you. Yes, please. I, I, I beg you. I, I beg you. I, I, I beg you. I'm ashamed. I, 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 I am. I am begging. I, I am begging. You are a disgrace. To the name sir, of sir, the have, ha, have some, have, have some, de have, have some decency, have people, some decency today. De 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 ha, yeah, decency. Have you some diplomatic. Have decency well, your own countrymen who died today. Who who diplomatic, by, you know who? The people whose lives Diplomatic you decorum. Are there right is some, now, there is something diplomatic. You are on their payroll <laughs> and you have the script. I wish you were right. I really wish you were right. I was really. Say <laughs> sorry for you the are your own brothers and sisters <sighs> who died what? today. Balo Balochan, Balochan India are one. We are one. What is your problem? Why shouldn't India be involved in Balochistan? I think it is the right of India. Not only the right of India, it is the moral responsibility of India to openly support Balochistan. The main foreign interference in Balochistan is the presence of your military boots. Well said. How many have you killed of my blood and bone? Well said. How many have you killed? And how answer many you him, want Ambassador to kill? Nakwi, answer him. Do you know the Geneva Convention? Do you know the lines of diplomacy? Oh. If India supports Balochistan openly, this will amount to intervention. And what and about intervention Kashmir? intervention is going to be what dealt about with Kashmir? with a strong hand. What about Kashmir? Kashmir is a disputed area. Oh, for Kashmir God's sake, me. Oh, for territory. God's sake. Group okay, captain, one second, one second. second. Aapke liye, aapke liye saath guna maa. The two on the other foot. Maruf is responding to you. All your sins are forgiven. Maruf is responding to you. Anything India does, and you take the rules of the facts. Maruf is responding to you. Go Let take me, a no, walk. No, one second, one second. First of all, first of all, Maruf, before you come in, before you come in. No, 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 one second, Maruf, <laughs> Maruf, Maruf, one second. Understand for one last time. Mind your own business. Kashmir is not your concern because Kashmiris have willingly participated in every Indian election rejecting you and your proxies. Okay? Kashmir is not your concern. Kashmir is not your concern. Kashmir is not your concern because while you insist on a plebiscite, are you willing to withdraw all troops from Kashmir first as a mandate of the UN resolution? Right? And, and because and your attempts to internationalize Kashmir have failed. Withdraw your troops as well. You have got over six divisions. And it so, and so, and so, and so, you, you on the have, other hand, on the 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 other hand, for Kashmiris, they will liberate themselves. On the other hand, yes, the people of Baluchistan will liberate themselves very soon by the grace of God. I have faith that the Kashmiris will liberate themselves. We don't have to do anything You see, you see a question, question being asked, question being asked, Rana Afzal Khan. Rana Afzal Khan, come to the subject today. Okay. The subject is America calls you frauds, and they say that you are selective. Right. I'll give you one fact. I'll give you, is it true or not? Okay, so listen. I'll give you one fact and you tell me or not you're factually incorrect. You have carried out operation, what is that called? Zarbe Azab. 
to flush out Taliban terrorists in North Waziristan region? 3,500 terrorists have, have been killed. We have done killed. it. You've done it. Okay. So what is the zarbe what that you've carried out against the Lashkar? Zarbe what against the Hezbollah? And zarbe what against the Jaysh-e Mohammed? And the this Haqqani network. A, uh, this, hmm? Boliye na. this may be a problem in your, in your minds, practically in Pakistan's extremism and terrorism in Pakistan. That's your problem. They do not, they are not That's there. That's your problem. I, I they are not I there. Have, I have a question. We don't see. Counter question. I have a question to I, the Pakistani. I, I, okay, Rana Afzal Khan, counter from RSN Singh. RSN is countering you. RSN is countering you. One very straightforward mm -hmm. question to the Pakistani panelists. Would India be justified in droning Hafid Saeed and Yeah, Mina well Masood said. Well said. Azhar. Well said. Just give me an answer to this. No. And then we can proceed with the debate. My simple answer is, <clears throat> my simple answer is no, because then Pakistan would be justified to drone your prime minister. Then who has? There, there, who there you are. No, 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 no. One second. See, this is Pakistan. this is the issue. We will block this is you. this is the issue. Then, then this is happened? the issue. Arana Azhar can't be a responsible person when you speak like that. What did you do? When a straightforward question is put, your inability to answer it. That he played a That's the problem. That's the problem. One second, Rana Azhar Khan. What did you do? Rana Azhar Khan. What did you do? Rana Azhar Khan. What did you do? Don't, 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 don't remove the camouflage so quickly. Don't, don't remove the camouflage so quickly because. Because what happens is Rana Abdul Khan. What happened? Where did your man go? One second. No personal attacks. No personal attacks. RSN. RSN. No personal attacks. No sexist remarks. I will record them. I request you to stop. We come back to the subject. Okay. 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 Okay on the deadly Peshawar attack in December 2014 and you killed 77 terrorists through airstrikes and ground attacks. I want to ask you most sincerely today, was it revenge when it you was funded of our war was it revenge terror. when you funded the Lashkar e Toiba with <coughs> almost 61 million rupees? Was it revenge? Hypocrisy aapke, aapke hypocrisy Where do you get these Where? facts? Where did I get the fact? These are, these are documented figures. Where did you get these figures? You have given. Are <laughs> obviously, are you are in raw feed. Okay, listen, listen. I'll tell, right. I'll, tell right. I'll tell you the facts. I'll tell you the facts. I'll tell you the facts. He's feeding you. I'll I'll tell you the facts. I'm taking it from your press. Are Pakistani media? Pakistani media ne kaha hai ki immediately after the attack on a Peshawar school in Punjab. Are there any Punjab documents? Punjab budget documents? No, no, nothing. The Pakistani government they sanctioned 20 20 new. Uh, you know, uh, uh, groups of the Lashkar e Toiba. The Jamaatud Dawa, which carried out the two Mumbai attacks, was allocated 6.1 crore rupees in the financial year by uh, by the Punjab government, headed by uh, Nawaz Sharif's party, the PMLN, of which Rana Abzal Khan is a member. Rana Abzal Khan, you have a pass. Let Rana Abzal Khan deny the program. Par? Let him deny. Jim, I'm not denying. What do you deny? I deny. Kar? Because there is no such thing. What do you this mean? This is no project like Gul Gulbakhsh. Once, once, once. I'll give we you some more. No Rana Abzal Khan, see. Rana Abzal Khan, see. We have no project in India. Rana Abzal Khan, where we are financing. Okay. You are financing people like. Uh, Yadev, Mr. Khan. you have projects in Rajasthan, you Mr. have projects in Mr. Khan, Mr. Khan, Mr. Khan, Mr. Khan, Mr. Khan, ye Washington se Ahmad Musti Khan kuch kehna chahte hai aapse, magar aapko mein karunga, zara zara please note kare, aur agar aapse galti ho to baad mein mujhe bata de, kyunki mujhe jo pata hai, ye marze taiba karke hai, largest center hai jamaatu dawa ka, jo lashkar e toiba ka overground outfit hai, उनको 61 मिलियन रुपीस दिए गए थे फाइनेंशियल या 2013 और 2014 में उस समय जो वहाँ पे चीफ मिनिस्टर थे वो है शहबाज शरीफ जो नवाज शरीफ के ब्रदर हैं और उसको कहा गया था इस ग्रांटिंग एट तू द चीफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर मुर्कीदे मरकस इस 61.35 मिलियन सो आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू सर समटाइम्स आपको पता नहीं आपके देश में क्या हो रहा है और अहमद मुस्तिकान भी कुछ कहना चाहते हैं आपको अहमद मुस्तिकान डोंट रीड दे बजट डॉक्यूमेंट अहमद मुस्तिकान ने सही समझा आपको पता है अरनाब अरनाब आई आई हैव इन माय हैंड हम अपने मुल्क से टेररिज्म खत्म कर the book clearly indicates Pakistan is a rogue state. 
why Zalmay Khalilzad had personally met Musharraf. Musharraf. Musharraf had said. Musharraf. Musharraf said. Musharraf said we have we have have got nothing to do with the Taliban. He asked Zalmay Khalilzad to give him the names and numbers of the Taliban so that he can arrest them. And now, and now, what there did he say? Books on India. Just and one India year ago, he said, student. he said, Pakistan and himself were totally involved in all the happenings in Afghanistan and in Kashmir. Ambassador Nakui, I am requesting Pakistan. I am, I am, I am telling on, Pakistan, on Pakistan very clearly. Here is the book. Here is the book. The Which book is this? Khalilza. Which book is this? I'd like to get the ambassador in. No, there are many such books. Intellectual. Arnab, there okay, are many such Nakhvi. books that come out. Not all, the, not all of them are, are this, the absolute truth. This, what are you saying, <laughs> ambassador? This, I tell you, uh, sanctions are coming. Sanctions are coming on Pakistan. Then we will see I what will happen think to so. you. And that is totally wh wrong. Wh you wh live in a different why world. Why you can't, people have why a can't, why very can't Pakistan understand? View of Pakistan. Why can't Pakistan understand that Pakistan is to India what Mexico is to the United States? Mexico right, we'll has see. more genuine we'll claim see. on Texas oh, yeah. than you guys have on okay, Kashmir. Don't live what are you don't, doing don't, in Baluchistan? What are you doing in Baluchistan? False perception that you are United States and don't fall think that we are Mexico. We are ready your, to deal your, with you your and problem we'll in the country. deal with you. The problem but in your country talk, is, the generals, the, is the generals. If the United the, States the, the generals, that the generals in the, in the, the terror army, camps in Pakistan, army we headquarters, we are going to army. close down the, the what, Indian the whole world. Commission in Islamabad. Because that the whole is the world biggest is, the whole world is terrorism. So the, the whole Indian world is High angry with you. I, Islamabad is going to be closed the, down because we the, want to shut down terrorism the whole in world, Pakistan. The, uh, the whole world is angry with you, sir. The whole world is angry with you. It's not That's only India. Wrong. That it's not only Baloch, it's not wrong. only Afghanistan. You are, you are e living even, in a fool's even, paradise. Even, peop e even people in Oman, even people in UAE, they have all know that you. you guys are not trustworthy. I have recommended to the American Indians government... are not trustworthy. Whenever you talk to a Pakistani official, tie a lie detector. You guys lie, lie left, right, center? Do you have any way how to behave internationally? I don't know how what to say about judge. you as a journalist. You people cannot judge us. What, your what, are, you, what are you doing in Baluchistan? What, what, are, what are you doing in What are you doing in Baluchistan? What are you doing in Baluchistan? What are you doing in Baluchistan? Come here, come here. We will show you what are you doing in Baluchistan. Kashmir is India's uh, integral part. Are you guys crazy? Um, are you guys crazy? A fool's paradise. You, you should have some sense. Some sense. You have destroyed your country by this nonsense for 70 years. What, what are you? Where You're are you living? Indian people. Don't where are you living? Don't You're worry about that. Your, 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 your jihadi mindset says. One jihadi is equal to 10 Hindus, 10 Jains, 10 Sikhs, 10 Buddhists. What is this we nonsense? This is your official yeah. policy. You see, I'm not, I'm not lying. I, as a human, our my policy, heart bleeds. Our policy is like a what, what kind of world. teaching you are giving to your children? From you are destroying, you are, you are destroying people. everyone, you are I, including I, I, yourself, I first and you, foremost. Uh, Rana Afzal Khan. Please Rana wake Afzal up, wake Khan. up. Rana, Rana Leave Balochistan. One second, one second. Leave Balochistan Rana now. Rana Quit Balochistan. This is our demand. I need to close the debate, but I just want to say one thing for you. Pakistan does not need any certificate from you. Yeah, yeah, one second. Rana Afzal Khan. Rana Afzal Khan, you are the, you are the federal parliamentary secretary Honor, for finance and economic point. affairs and, and and i just making one point to you consider today really you want to go down the abyss it's your problem you don't want to think about your own people it's your problem anyone would tell you sane advice to you May I please? instead of saying things of the kind that you do the hizbul chief has called for nuclear war with india 
on a day with 70 of your own people have died in a horrific act of terrorism you are giving a platform for a terrorist to talk you about need, nuclear you war. take advice from sincere people yeah. i cannot take your advice 13 40% of you your take country, advice from some sincere people yeah, we are sincerely 40% of your country is living in multidimensional poverty Arna, thank you very this much is your own report we know how sincere Arna. you are Forty percent of Pakistan is in multidimensional poverty. Arnab, there is one one very important point. Nuclear threat. Maruf is making a point, then we close. I don't think I'm getting can across. I just say something? Yeah. May I please make? Uh, yeah, go ahead, and Arnab, Ambassador and Sultan Arnab, Ali. I just I just want to I just want to say to uh, Sir Arnab, I just want to say to the Pakistani guests. They can keep denying what they have to deny because it's part of their, their, their DNA. But the fact of the matter is, I would recommend to them to pick up the latest book by Khalid Ahmed, published by Penguin, called Sliding to Surrender. He is a very eminent Pakistani journalist and he has said that Pakistan must control the slide, otherwise in a few years' time, that country will be completely taken Understand over by the Jihadi group. Now they'll deny Understand that. Fine. that Sultan I also want to tell them that there concern. is a new policy. Sir, please listen to me. There is a new policy formulation. Sir, Sun Lijie, there is a new policy benchmark being formulated in the US for your knowledge and yeah. which is that all your generals, all your diplomats, all your eminent and wealthy citizens who have a foot in the United States with education, health and relative connections, they are all going to soon be denied a presence in U.S. soil if Pakistan continues with that. And that's going to pinch your policy makers a lot more than anything else the world does. And finally, my suggestion to India is Sultan that let us publish Sultan a map of all the disputed areas of Pakistan and not show it as part of Pakistan, but say they are disputed. Sultan Ali Ambassador, then we Azad close. Kashmir, uh, Baltistan, and let Pakistan then respond to say what is an internal matter, what is an external matter. We must make it public that these people don't want to belong to Pakistan. The idea of Pakistan is going to be limited to Punjab. Live with it, sir. Goodbye. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> I think, Maruf, you managed to effectively silence our guests oh, from yeah, Pakistan yeah. with that. And on I that note, one point I want uh, on, on that Why note, I, the thing you, off? I have not switched anything off. To, but it appeared to be that Maruf, Maruf, you do it that appeared to me. No, 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 no. It appeared to me he silenced you. Because you heard him. And believe me, you soaked it in. Believe me. Your talk shows are so. I have well, lost. I, I have lost my. Uh, I have made my neck hoarse. <laughs> this is so bad manners on talk shows. That you can't even talk decently, sir. I'm surprised, sir. I'm telling this is you, my last I'm, program with sir. You. I'm telling you, 35, 35 percent of your country's child deaths happen due to malnutrition. You, sh you cannot allow a madman to go on the streets of Pakistan talking about nuclear war. I'm saying this to you, uh, Rana Afzal Khan, with sincerity to you. He is not talking. It's you. He is. You are leading your people into confrontation. He focus on focus on your own country. He is. Power, all right. Land. All right. Uh, focus on all, your own all, country. All, all right. Don't all worry right. about Pakistan. All right. We, we agree to disagree. We, we agree to disagree. Phobia from India. Yeah, but we are but, not afraid of India. But you need. We are not afraid of America. No, no. This we is not about who you are afraid with. This is about this is about how Rana Abdul Khan, your once your once ally on terror. Called the America, United States of America has called you out for your selective approach. Why don't you? Why don't you get the message? That's no, all I'm saying. Not. They have. I will send they you the quote. But they want to hold negotiations with the Taliban. What are you talking about? Well, your ally has called you out for going against terror groups selectively. But what what business do you have with Taliban? If if they tell us to go and negotiate. <laughs> on so their what? behalf, how can they turn around and say we are selected? Well, no, they're no, dropping you. They are, they're dropping you at this stage. I thank you all. I thank you all for joining me on debate number two on the news hour tonight. Thank you.